What's up guys? Welcome to the very first tutorial of GRE and SAT learning concepts of maths. Tutorial number one is linear equations. This is the easiest thing you would ever come across in your paper. So type one is linear equations in one variable. Most probably you know this, but I still need to go through it for someone maybe who doesn't know what linear equation in one variable is. So a sample equation would look like 2x plus 9 equals 29. So in this case, x is the variable over here. And what you need to do is bring the variable on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So doing that, we get 2x equals 29 minus 9 which is equal to 20. Therefore, we get x equal to 20 by 2, which is equal to 10. So we have solved for x and our work is done. So now let's go and see type 2, linear equations in two variables. Here we would have two variables and two equations. So let's have a look at a sample of type 2. So let our equation number 1 be 2x plus 3y equals 25. Our equation number 1. And the equation number 2 be 4x plus y equal to 15. Now in this type of problems what you need to do is express one variable in terms of other and then substitute it in the other equation. So here the easiest thing is to express y in terms of x. So we take equation number 2 from here we get y equal to 15 minus 4x. Now substitute this value of y in equation number 1. So substituting in equation number 1, we get 2x plus 3 into the value of y, which is 15 minus 4x equal to 25. So, if you notice it carefully, this is reduced to type number 1. We have only one variable. So, going ahead, 2x plus 3 into 15 is 45. 3 into minus 4x is minus 12x equal to 25. Therefore, minus 10x, 2x minus 12x, plus 45 equal to 25. Now the next step is to take minus 10x and 25 on other sides. So 45 minus 25 is equal to 10x. Therefore 20 equal to 10x. Therefore x equal to 20 divided by 10 which is equal to 2. So here we have found out the value of x. Now the next and the final step is to take this value of x and substitute it in this equation to get the value of y. So we get y equal to 15 minus 4 into the value of x. We found or here is 15 minus 4 into 2 which is equal to 15 minus 8 which is equal to 7. So yep, our problem is solved. The value of x is 2 and value of y is 7. Now let's take a look at type number 3. Type number 3 is bar fractions. A typical example of bar fractions which uh, you would get is this. 2x minus 1 divided by 3 minus x minus 1 by 2 equal to 1 
and you would be asked to solve for x. So the very first step you do when you see something like this is to put the brackets to the numerators of every fraction you encounter. Then multiply 2x minus 1 by 2 and 3 into x minus 1, a cross multiplication rule, and the denominator will be 3 into 2. So doing so, we get 2 into 2x minus 1 minus 3 into x minus 1 divided by 3 into 2, which is equal to 1. So our next step would be 4x minus 2 minus 3x plus 3. Minus 3 into minus 1 is plus 3 divided by 6, which is equal to 1. Therefore, we get 4x minus 3x is x, minus 2 plus 3 is 1, x plus 1 equal to 6. The 6 in the denominator is taken to the other side. Therefore, we get x equal to 6 minus 1, which is equal to 5. So here, the very first tutorial comes to an end, linear equations. This is the easiest. Now, you guys, I would ask to give a thumbs up if you, if you really found this is helpful and share it with your friends. So signing off, here is JJ and tune in to the channel because our next tutorial is going to be on quadratic equations. Thank you guys. See you.